In recent years, ozone therapy has gained a lot of traction and, and for good reason. It's a really powerful and just a healing therapy that not a lot of other therapies can do. But it, ozone's not new. It's actually very old. For a couple of hundred years, we have known of the beneficial properties of ozone. In fact, Nikolai Tesla in the 1800s had patented an ozone machine for air purification. And if you go to certain parts of the world now, particularly in Europe, ozone is still used readily in commercial applications like air purification and water purification and then actually used also for health maintenance in Europe quite regularly. I want to talk to you just briefly about the benefits of ozone and then we're going to talk about how we use ozone therapy. So there are probably upwards of a dozen benefits of ozone therapy so we're not going to go through all of those. The ones that I want to focus on the most are the oxygen delivery to your tissue, boosting your stem cells release from your own body, and then the immune boosting aspects of ozone. So let's start with the oxygen delivery. So most of us, as we get older, will experience a slump in our performance. And sometimes that is contributed to by our body's inability to offload oxygen to the tissues that need the oxygen the most. And there's a lot of complex factors that are making that process work or not allowing it to work. When you introduce ozone into the body, you're shifting the body's ability to offload that oxygen easier to the tissues that need it the most. And most healthcare providers would agree that low oxygen environments are what breeds disease and inflammation. So if we can improve oxygenation of the tissues, it's typically felt to be a good thing, particularly for performance. So if you're an athlete that needs power on demand, having oxygen available to your muscle cells is really important for them to develop the power on demand. The next aspect of ozone is how it will cause your body to release its own stem cells. So we know that other things like fasting, right? If you fast for a period of days, you can, when you refeed yourself, you're going to boost your own stem cell release. Well, ozone can do that for you as well, right? When we introduce ozone into the body, we're prompting the body to release its own stem cells. And this is partly you know what's responsible for the healing mechanisms of ozone you've got these new stem cells these new warriors sort of floating around your body that are seeking out and destroying problem areas and over the course of time if you do ozone therapy regularly enough then you're going to keep your body's inflammatory load low not only because you're providing oxygen but also because of this rich boost of stem cells that we have and the third and probably one of my favorite aspects of ozone therapy is the immune boosting so ozone will help boost your body's ability to fight off infections. A lot of people talk about it being antimicrobial, antifungal, and antibacterial, okay, and antiviral. So we know that it has a lot of healing properties and, and, the, and the cascade of events that follow from ozone being introduced into our cells, into our body, is one of a heightened immune response where we are better able to identify the problem areas of our body, particularly if it's a virus or a fungus or a bacterial uh, invader, we can more easily identify and attack that problem at its source and then not allow it to affect our body long term. Here at Compass, what we typically do with ozone is we use it in three ways. We typically either do it through a small generator where we work with our clients to use ozone at home. And so allowing our clients or having the ability to do ozone therapy at home is really beneficial for our clients because the consistent application of ozone is what will yield the best results. And then here in the office, we have two major forms that we use of ozone. One is called ozone dialysis and one is called ozone 10 pass. And the ozone dialysis is our more comprehensive, more um, sort of robust treatment. We're able to filter about 90% of your blood volume and introduce uh, oxygen and ozone to about 90% of your blood volume. We circulate that blood through dialysis filter so that we're filtering out the impurities in your blood. And then we're also using a red and blue light to activate your mitochondria. And then it also provides some antimicrobial and immune boosting properties from the blue light. And then the second treatment that we use is our ozone 10 pass. There's an older treatment called major autohemotherapy where approximately 200 cc's of blood was pulled out into a bag and then ozone was mixed with that blood. And then that 250 cc's was, of blood was then reintroduced back into the body. Well, now we have a single machine that's able to help us do that. The machine is able to suction your blood into a container and then under pressure, pump in the oxygen and ozone so your blood turns bright cherry red and then we reinfuse that blood back into your body. And we do that cycle 10 times, thereby the name 10 pass. 
So these are our two most powerful ozone therapies that we offer here at Compass Human Performance. We're able to help people either recover from some sort of illness or event, but we're also able to use these therapies to help you improve your performance. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you'll like our video, share it with someone that you love and care about, follow our page, and come see us soon at Compass and let us help you achieve the best version of you. Thank <laughs> you.